In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, we come together to celebrate the Holy Eucharist. We celebrate God's love for us as manifested by our Lord Jesus Christ by offering himself for our salvation. And as we celebrate this Holy Eucharist, we pray for the eternal God we pose to the souls of or we pray for Franz and Marie Falzan. And we also join in thanksgiving and prayer of Paul Clemson, who is celebrating his 80th birthday today. To be less unworthy for the celebration, we now humble ourselves before the Lord. We know we have our weaknesses, we commit mistakes, but we are believing in God who is merciful to us. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to the Father and to one another. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You heal the wounds of our sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You intercede for us with the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, by us gift your faithful offer ye right and price worthy service. Grant we pray that we may hasten without stumbling to receive the things you have promised. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. In your minds, you must be the same as Christ Jesus. His state was divine, yet he did not cling to his equality with God, but emptied himself to assume the condition of a slave. And became as men are. And being as all men are, he was humbler yet, even to accepting death, death on a cross. But God raised him high and gave him the name which is above all other names, so that all beings in the heavens, on earth, and in the underworld should bend the knee at the name of Jesus. And that every tongue should acclaim Jesus Christ as Lord, to the glory of God the Father. The word of the Lord. Be to God. Our response I will praise you, Lord, in the assembly of your people. My vows are repaid for those who fear the Lord. The poor shall eat and shall have their fear. They shall praise the Lord. Those who seek him, may their hearts be forever and ever. All the earth shall remember and return to the Lord. All families of the nations worship before him, for the kingdom is the Lord's. He is ruler of the nations. They shall worship him, all the mighty of the earth. And my soul shall live for him, my children serve him. They shall tell of the Lord to generations yet to come, declare his faithfulness to peoples yet unborn. These things the Lord has done. Let us now stand to hear the gospel. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Come to me, all you that labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest, says the Lord. Amen. 
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. One of those gathered round the table said to Jesus, Happy the man who will be at the feast in the kingdom of God. But he said to him, There was a man who gave a great banquet, and he invited a large number of people. When the time for the banquet came, he sent his servant to say to those who had been invited, Come along, everything is ready now. But all alike started to make excuses. The first said, I have bought a piece of land and must go and see it. Please accept my apologies. Another said, I have bought five yoke of oxen and am on my way to try them out. Please accept my apologies. Yet another said, I have just got married and so I am unable to come. The servant returned and reported this to his master. Then the householder in a rage said to his servant, Go out quickly into the streets and alleys of the town and bring in here the poor, the crippled, the blind and the lame. Sir, said the servant, your orders have been carried out and there is still room. Then the master said to his servant, Go to the open roads and the hedge rows and force people to come in to make sure my house is full. Because I tell you, not one of those who were invited shall have a taste of my banquet. The Gospel of the Lord. I can say that one of my favorite uh, biblical apostles is the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians, chapter 2. And it says something about the uh, mystery of incarnation. He emptied himself and becoming like us. One way to look at this is that it is an affirmation to being human beings or being a human person. God becoming like us. That means it is good to be human. It is good to human being. So it's an affirmation to our being. And he even went even to the lower status of human beings to be a slave and even experience even the worst thing that can happen to human beings. That is to be accused and to be executed because of wrong accusation. But he has proved to us, with the mystery of incarnation, he has proved to us that there is meaning. It is worth to be human, especially if you are sure you are doing the will of God. And, of course, eventually you will receive the reward of eternal life. And, of course, on his part, as, as God himself, that is the way he has shown his love for us. He did the hardest way to save us. So that's the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. And well, in the Gospel reading, his story, when somebody asked him, happy the man who will uh, be at the feast of the kingdom of God, is actually that guy would represent every human being that there is the innate desire for all of us, each one of us, to have that banquet in the kingdom of God. That's why when we go deep into reflection, we do stop for a while and uh, assess our own self, perhaps we can say, yes, we have that desire. Although at times the desire might be we would start with little things, the wrong things with those who would not attend the banquet, the invitation, is because they see that there is happiness, of course, in having uh, material things. You got your option, you got your, your uh, uh, well, to get married, so of course, a joyful uh, event. All these things that give, or basically, that we need, 
and the amenities that we enjoy. But the wrong thing is that they stop there, as if that's the, that's the ideal thing, and no more important things, over and above all these joys that we've experienced in life. That is, that is the, uh, what is lacking in them. That's why we would not uh, go into deep reflection to know that the desire for happiness, even with little things we have in life, is actually leading us towards the desire of the kingdom of God. It's only when we go deep into reflection that we, we can go over and beyond all these little things we enjoy in life. After all, asking the question is actually implying that we got either innate desire for the things of God. And uh, the invitation for the poor, the crippled, those who are on the street is implying to us that everybody is invited. Everybody, each one of us has the desire, even those who may be not in a favorable situation in this life, but they got also that desire. And so long as they uh, respond to that invitation, then they too have the right and privilege to join in the banquet. So brothers and sisters, we pray that we too have that desire always in our life, even if we seek the things that make us or that address our uh, basic needs, that we go even beyond that that we desire the idea that is the kingdom of God. We pray to that those who have not much enough things in this world may have uh, the fulfillment of their desire with God's grace and with God's blessing. As we continue to celebrate this Holy Eucharist, we praise and thank the Lord, our Lord Jesus Christ. He came to be like us, living even, not being born in a royal family, but being an ordinary person, but showing us that from our situation, we can, or we have the invitation, and we can join the heavenly banquet. We praise and thank God for leading us the way, our Lord Jesus Christ, for being the way, the truth, and the life for us. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for us through your goodness we have received this bread to offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands. It will become for us our bread of life. Praise Praise God. God. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for us through your goodness we have received this wine to offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual bread. Yes, <laughs> Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice on yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the sacrificial offerings, O Lord, become for you a pure oblation, and for us a holy outpouring of your mercy, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you, and lift up your hearts, and let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven, the virtues of heaven, the blessed seraphim, worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord, God, heaven and earth are filled with glory. 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. My holy, therefore, this gives me pride by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of all the Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which shall be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was sent, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death of the Lord until the come again. Therefore, as we celebrate a memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we might be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Vincent, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Andrew and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. I will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. We live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all wise. Lamb of God, you take away the world. Lamb of God, you take away the world.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold the Mutaik Sawai, the sins of the world. Blessed To those at home, you may join this prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and desire to receive you always. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come into my heart. I embrace you as you are already there and unite myself wholly to you. May I never be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May the working of your power, O Lord, increase in us, we pray, so that renewed by these heavenly sacraments, we may be prepared by your gift for receiving what he promised. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended, we go now in peace. Thank you, Son, to God.